Hey guys, it's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. We are here at the 2022 PRI show. We're in the Frankenstein booth and I'm joined by Will Tetro. Behind us is a twin turbo 427 cubic inch LS engine and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Will, thanks so much for joining us, Absolutely. giving us a little bit of time here. Uh, PRI show is about to end here on day three, but uh, again, appreciate the time. Saw this gorgeous car a few times during the show and uh, finally got a chance to talk to you about it. And would love to know some of the details of the LS that you got in here. Okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, 427 inch LS, dart block, uh, Frankenstein F710 heads, their intake, uh, Brian Tully Racing supplied the camshaft for it. So it's still a hydraulic roller. Um, and then it's a uh, dry sump, uh, it's got twin force induction S488s on it, and on, on alcohol. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, how about some of the internal components? Do you have to um, know? Ross Pistons, actually, uh, Oaks Performance out of Texas built us the motor for it. Um, it's Ross Pistons, a Cali's crank in it, um, and uh, a set of billet rods, aluminum rods in it. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, pretty mild build for what it is, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, obviously, you got some really cool Frankenstein pieces on here. Do you yeah. want to highlight what uh, you got? Yeah, actually, like I said, they built us the head for it. They're a solid head. Um, it's their freak show intake with their new uh, not dual 90 millimeter throttle body and you know their twin induction system. Um, but yeah, they've come on board, they've helped us out a ton on this and a bunch of new pieces on it, like their new mag drop uh, style breather tubes and everything like that. So yeah. No, it's definitely a gorgeous piece. I mean, everything's you know, ready for the show. Exactly. You know? Looks exactly. great. Uh, you mentioned the Frankenstein heads. How about some of the valve train parts inside? There? Um, it's got titanium valves. Um, it's got an canola exhaust. Um, it's all uh, packed 685 springs on it. So, uh, actually, no, sorry, 1230, 1237X springs on it in pack. And then, um, and then, like I said, Texas Speed uh, rockers, they're adjustable rockers and that. So, very cool. Now, with the twin turbos, how much horsepower do you think? We're hoping for somewhere in the 2,000, 2,500 horsepower range. Yeah. And we're going to run no time stuff from the beginning, get the car shipped down, and then we'll kind of progress from there. You know, this is actually a motor we had out of another car. We had a uh, 94R7 radial race and everything like that. So we built the chassis, built everything to that, put this combo in it so we know, you know, work out the bugs in the chassis and then we'll go upgrade horsepower from there. Now, it's definitely a gorgeous engine. The twin turbo setup's done really well, uh, but we can't ignore the car itself. The car is gorgeous too. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you got here? It's a 68 Nova. Um, started out as a, as a real SF and then uh, they cut it up and made it into what it is, titanium firewall in it. Um, as I said, Tintin from Coast Chassis built the car for us and did a phenomenal job on it. Um, it's got a strange Pro Mod modular rear end in it, uh, Turbo 400. Um, we do have a lockup setup we're gonna put in here eventually after we get the chassis figured out. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, pretty simple thing. Well, again, can't ignore the paint job here. Is that something you did yourself? It is. Uh, my shop, Harbor Auto Restorations down in Coca, Florida. We uh, we painted it. We do a lot of hot rods and concourse cars and stuff like that. So painting is kind of what we're known for. Yeah. So yeah. Can you elaborate on what it took to get all these different colors involved there? Uh, is, actually, is that a special paint or did you guys have to do multiple layers? No, it's actually, uh, it's a base coat, clear coat, standard style paint. Yeah. Um, it's actually from a company called Custom Paints out of the uh, UK okay. who build it and it's a part of their Harlech went line. But uh, yeah, they got four or five different variations of the style of paint. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks great. And uh, again, really awesome engine and appreciate you giving us a little bit of time to chat about Thank it. You. Yeah. Guys, appreciate you guys watching this episode. Make sure you're checking out Frankenstein. Make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. And uh, again, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.